So if you're being asked to find the integral of f prime from negative 2 to 8, that means you're supposed to be finding the area. So here we have this triangle starting at negative 2 to negative 1, which is above the x-axis, so it's going to be positive. So half by base by height, and I get 1. Next is going to be a triangle that's under the x-axis from negative 1 to 0. So negative 1 to 0, f prime x dx. If it's under the x-axis, you must put negative on the outside, half by base by height, which is just a negative 1. Okay, next up is going to be another triangle from 0 to 2 that's also under the x-axis, so also negative. So we're going to have 0 to 2, f prime x, dx is equal to half. Uh, the base here is going to be a 2, and the height is going to be also a 2. So 2 times 2, which is equal to, and of course I must put negative on the outside because we are under the x-axis. So it's going to be negative 2. What's next is going to be another triangle from 2 to 4 that's above the x-axis, so positive. Okay. Okay, so here we go from 2 to 4. So we're going to say from 2 to 4, f prime x dx will be half by base by height above the x-axis, so positive and you also get a 2. And then we're going to have another triangle. Actually, no, sorry. From 4 to 8 is the weird one because it's not a triangle. It's not any shape that we know. What it is is basically what you got to do here is you got to find the area of this rectangle and you got to subtract from it the area of this semicircle. What would be left is those corners, those curvy corners. We're essentially trying to find the area of these curvy corners. And the way you do that is by doing the rectangle minus the semicircle. So let's start by finding the area of the rectangle. So my rectangle is going to be drawn from 4 to 8 on the x-axis and from 0 to 2 on the y-axis. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say my area from 48 f prime x dx is the area of the rectangle, which is um, length times width. So my length is going to be 8 minus 4, and my width is going to be 2, minus the area of the semicircles. So this from here to here is going to be a semicircle, whose radius is a 2, so minus pi r squared over 2, because the area of a semicircle is pi r squared over 2. Okay, uh, let's do the math now. So uh, we're going to get 8 minus 4, which is just a 4, times 2 is going to be 8, minus uh, 2 pi, basically. And now, of course, we're not done yet. Now we have to actually add up all the areas. I didn't understand that. So, okay, whatever. So now we're going to basically add the 1 with the negative 1, with the negative 2, with the 2, with the 8 minus 2 pi. Now, so we're going to have 1 with negative 1, with negative 2, with a 2, with an 8 minus 2 pi. Let's see how much we get. So, so basically the 1s cancel out, the 2s cancel out, and you're going to be ending up only with 8 minus 2 pi as your area from, from where? From negative 2 all the way to 8. 8 minus 2 pi. So the answer here is going to be 8 minus 2 pi.